welcome back again everyone. Um, we've got another little job here to do. Um, this one here is um, a faceting machine. Um, this spins around, it's like a, like a grinding wheel on it. And they put a, a stick in here with a diamond or whatever um, gemstone you're going to um, grind up. And it's actually what cuts the, um, I suppose you call it the facets, or the angles on a diamond. And any other thing you put on there. Um, what's happening is um, it's got too much flex in it because of a nylon um, stopper it's got here. It's just bending too much. I'm actually using this nylon as an insulator. You can actually see the gauge when it touches. It lets them know that it's actually on the right depth. But it's just bending too much. So I'm going to take it off, the nylon off, and machine up a steel one. And I'll put in a little, little switch I've got. And that'll go in here somewhere. So that'll take the place of this, the way they've got this set up here. So we'll go and get some steel and I'll head over to the lathe and we'll machine a new one of them up. I thought I'll just give you um, a, a close up view of how much flex is actually in this. Now if you're cutting a diamond or you know an expensive stone, that's a, a lot of movement. And it's actually a, actually a switch as well. Um, this probe that goes through the top here actually touches this and that's what makes a contact and that little needle moves. So that's why we're going to put a switch in alongside it somewhere. So we'll, first of all we'll um, change this um, bit of nylon out with a piece of steel and that should take all that flex out of it. Okay, I've unscrewed the nylon part and it's actually got a thread on it and it's 8mm thread. So I've got a bit of rod here. Now this is 10mm diameter so what I'll do is I'll turn it down um, 8mm diameter and I'll make it it's about 7mm long and then I'll cut a thread on it just to make it easy to screw in I'll set that up now so I'll have it sticking out too far dial indicator to set that up. We're just trying to find the higher spot. That's that's higher there. So we'll just loosen this one a bit.
that's the OD turned down to um, 8 millimeter. So I'll just make sure that links right. Yep. So what I'll do now, I'll just put a um, a chamfer on the corners and I'll put a, a bit of a, a thread relief in on the corner. I'll get you in closer to see that. Okay, now I'll just use a parting tool to put a um, bit of thread relief in there. Okay, next part's cutting the thread. Now I've already um, ground up a piece of um, high speed steel and it's already got the 60 degree angle on it. And I'll set it up. It's already set on center height. And what we'll do now, we'll um, set up the lead screw so we can um, do the right pitch. So I'll show you how that's done. Okay, on the side of a lathe, there's um, a lot of um, charts, and what we're looking at here is the metric one, metric thread pitch. Now, 8mm has a pitch of 1.25, so we need to set the lathe up to cut that kind of pitch. Um, on the chart here, I'll zoom in a bit, hopefully you can see it. Right on the chart, uh, there's 1.25, now we've got to make sure the uh, the change gears inside here are the right ones and also we need to change the actual gearbox on the outside but we'll do this one first so this is the change gears we'll just double check to make sure they're the, the right ones on the inside so we'll take the side cover off and just double check that to get the side cover off it's just under the two uh, nuts there's one at the top and there's one at the bottom comes off. Okay, now that's the, the change gears. So we should have a setup going by the chart on the chart on here. Uh, top gear should be a 24 tooth, which it is. Um, 127, which is that one. 120, which is that. And a 48 tooth, which is that one. All right, that was too easy. All right, so now what we'll do, we'll go and um, change the gearbox now. Okay, now we can set the gearbox. Um, it's got to be 1.25, so it'll be M2, D2. So change it. Here's the M2, D. D2, so, alright, that should be all set up to cut a 1.25 pitch now. Okay, we're all set up, ready to go. I've got the lathe on the lower speed. That's all right. Which it is. Okay. To zero everything.
give that a quick file and we'll see if the nut fits. Actually change gears first, we can go a bit faster. Careful. Okay, now I'll do I'll part it off to the right length and that part should fit. Okay, we'll part him off. It'll be 25mm long. Got enough room. Mm -hmm. It's pretty close to that chuck. Enough clearance there, I think. Okay. Okay. I'll go and pit the part and see if it works. Okay, that's the part and we'll fit it. Hopefully this will take out all that play that was in it. Um, I might put this in the mill machine and mill some flats in it so I can do it up with a spanner because there's no way to really do that up. Oh, that's heaps better. Don't move in there at all. Right, so I might put that in the mill machine. It's like a 10 mil OD. I might cut it so you can put an 8 millimeter spanner on there. So I'll head over to the mill and we'll set that up. Okay, I've got the job set up in the um, in the vise. Um, I'm just going to use an edge finder to find the actual center of the job. That's you, the sp spanner flats I'm going to put in the middle. So we need to find the center of the job. So we'll get that sorted first. Okay, that's the centre of the job. Now I'll change out this and put an ER32 chuck in it with an uh, 8mm 4 fluted end mill. So I'll set that up. Okay, I've got the end mill set up. Um, so what I'll do now, I'll touch off on the job um, and then I'll take a millimetre cut and then I'll flip it over on the other side and take another millimetre cut and that should give me the 8mm spanner slot for it. Okay, that's one side done. I'll flip it all over and I'll do the cut on the other side. Okay, this is side two, so I'll do the same. I'll touch off and then take a one millimeter cut. Mm -hmm. 
should be it. I'll take it out and see if the spanner fits. Okay, the part's all machined up now. And there's the spanner fits. So we'll fit him on. Alright, there's no flex in that anymore. Um, I might do the second video on the actual switch because this video has taken a bit long, a bit longer than I thought to machine that up. So I'll do a second um, part two to this and there'll be fitting the switch. Alright, thanks for watching.